Hey, what's up guys? So I'm kind of in the middle of doing this Sake Bomb oil cooler kit. I just thought about making a video because I just realized I don't think I've seen a video on YouTube yet. So I decided why not make one? So I'm kind of in the middle of it, but I'll catch you guys up. So this is all the parts for the Sake Bomb kit. It comes with instructions and everything. Coolers right here. So what you have to do is you gotta take out your front bumper. Um, to do that, there's a three bolts right here. There's one bolt inside of here, oh, one bolt inside of there, another bolt in here, and another one in there. There you can get them from the inside and up there. If you take out the the black plastic pieces for the headlights, it makes it a lot easier. So you do that on both sides. T take the those three bolts out on both sides, and there should be some bolts here, right there. And then once once you take those tens out, you can uh, take off the bumper. Then you gotta take off the rebar, which is six ten, uh, six twelve. Sorry, there's gonna be one right here, one right there, and one right here. Same thing on the other side. It's gonna be one up top, one right there, and then one down here somewhere. You wanna drain your oil, and once you do that, you wanna take out your power steering bracket and all that. Uh, I don't have my AC, so it makes it a lot easier uh, for me. Since I don't have AC, there's two two fourteens here, another two fourteens in the back over here. Sorry, no light. Two fourteens in the back, and then the butt, the bottom one is a seventeen. And I kind of just moved it to the side for now. And once you have that, there's gonna be a. Um, let me turn on the flash in the next video. Hold up. So as you can see up here, right there, that is your oil feed, I think. Um, yeah, your oil feed to your stock oil cooler. I have a base model, so I only have one oil cooler instead of the two. I only have one. So you're going to want to move, remove that one. It's a 23 socket, so you want to remove that. And there's another one back here. That's your oil, your oil filter. That's your oil um, cooler return. So you're gonna want to remove that as well. And you wanna get those off. And then after that, after you get those off, you're gonna want to disconnect your lines somewhere. I disconnected my lines for the stock oil cooler right over here. They're snap ring clips, so you're gonna want to take those out. And I'll get back to you guys once I have those lines out. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and I've got that one feed line out. I've got the um, Sake Bomb Kit um, AN fittings in there right now. Also for the return line over here, I have it as well. Uh, let me see if you can see it up oh, right there. There's an AN fitting. I got one side of the pedestal mounted up right now. Um, it's pretty simple. It comes with these brackets, um, this Z bracket. This is already here. So all I gotta do is bolt it in. Then it comes with these little bolts right here. Also, it uses pre-existing bolts right there as well. One for the airbag um, sensor right here. It just mounts onto there and then another one down here. Um, and then it just comes up with all the hard range stuff. This one's the C-shaped uh, bracket. And so far, that's how the passenger side looks. I still gotta do the driver's side. The driver's side is empty for now. But I'm gonna go and get that side done in just a second. If I had someone to film me or a tripod or something, I would maybe uh, time lapse me doing it. But I do not have either right now. So I'll be back again. Alright, so I got both of them mounted up right now. Both oil coolers are mounted up. Uh, both are just the same on the same side. Now I'm trying to pre-fill them. So you want to uh, just uh, open one side up and just fill it up. Both of them. Fill both coolers up. And then we'll go from there. So guys, I did a poor, terrible job of filming last night. Um, I got everything hooked up right now. Everything's in. All the oil coolers are connected up, everything's ready to go. Right now I'm priming it. I have all these connections right here. So pretty much, um, 
there's going to be one connection from right here it's going to be a 120 to 90 and that one goes to this right fitting right here on the the thermostatic um the thermostat so it's going to go on this one right here um this one's to the oil pedestal so it runs back there and goes back there this mount actually mounts right here on the power steering bracket so it'll mount right there in this bottom bolt so that mounts up right there you got your uh your feed right here all connected up to the left side right here and then this left port right here is actually connected right there so that runs along there you see it right there and comes out to this um this line right here it's another 120 to 90 and then the one that connects the two coolers together actually runs through runs through the rebar so it'll go from here it's a 90 they're both 90 so it'll go from there and it'll run through inside the rebar and it'll run across to the other side inside the rebar so in the uh in the instructions it all says this it all mentions this it's the instructions are really nice and detailed they all have pictures and stuff so it's really really easy install right now i'm prime tells you to put oil in it and then start it not start up the engine but crank it without having any of the injectors uh, on you take out the injector relay and stuff like that so you you, st you crank it for like 10 seconds let it sit crank it for another 10 seconds and then you're pretty much purging all the air from in the oil lines and then you check your level to see where you're at and you keep doing that until it um the level doesn't go down anymore but that's that's pretty much it it's a really really nice kit after i'm done priming it i'll let it warm up and get it to operating temp and uh look for any leaks so that's why i still have the bumper off and stuff because i just want to uh, make sure there's no leaks and then once I uh, see if there's any leaks or anything like that then I'll put the bumper back on and I'll be ready to go it's a super super nice kit definitely recommend it if you're looking for something really easy and don't want to piece together your own kit